Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this is the continuation for the JK Set Environmental Science 2022 paper solution. So we are on a rapid revision for the UGC Net Environmental Science exam. Also any examination related to environmental science, this rapid revision will definitely help you. So if you haven't watched the previous video, you can watch the video. The link is provided in the i button. So without much delay, let's get started. So we will continue today from question number 76 because we have already completed till 75. 76 question is on your screen. The question is dip is defined as what? So this question came from the environmental geology and here as it is the rapid revision I will go and tell the answer rapidly. Option A will be the correct option. Dip is actually defined as the inclination of layer of rock with a horizontal plane. So its proper definition is actually the angle, the inclination, that is the angle at which a planar future, that is a plane future or rock is inclined to the horizontal plane. So that is dip known as. Coming to the question number 77, question 77 on right hand side, pediplanes. So what are pediplanes? Pediplanes are formed due to what? The question is asking that and pediplanes are formed actually due to the deposition of sediments transported by wind, water and ice. So these three can be the factors because the deposition of sediments transported by these three things because of them pediplanes are formed. So what are pediments? Pediments are actually gently sloping bedrock surface formed by the erosion or weathering. That is the pediments from that word pediplanes are formed. Coming to the next question, question number 78. The process of using of organism to remove pollutants from any system is known as what? So this is very very easy question. Answer will be option number B. Bioremediation is the technique in which bio that means living organisms are used to remove the pollutants or to decrease the level of pollutants from any system. Coming to question number 79. I hope you are noting down all these things. Question 79 is poikilitic texture is characterized with what? It is also coming from the environmental geology. Some of you will be listening to this term for the first time. Poikilitic. So here poikilitic texture means it is telling about the distribution of small size crystals dispersed within the body of large size mineral. Yes. Poikilitic texture means option B will be correct. Small crystals when they are present or dispersed in the body of large size mineral this provides the poikilitic texture in the mineral. So this thing was new I hope you have noted down. Let's move to question number 80. Question 80 is conquer is a variety of what? So I'll wait for certain seconds. So here Kanker is a variety of limestone actually. So the nodular form of limestone is called as kanker. Nodules form mein jo hota hai, usko hum kahenge kanker, limestone ka nodular form. So guys, before going ahead, let me remind about the four mock test series for the UGC NET Environmental Science 2022 examination, which will consist of 400 questions and give you a solid revision for the examination. You just need to follow two steps. First, you have to pay a nominal amount of rupees 99 through Google Pay or Phone Pay to this number 88950-35690. Then send me the screenshot of this payment and I will provide you the links which you can attempt at your any convenient time. Question number 81, Oil Zapper. Oil Zapper, very cool name. Oil Zapper was in the news. So what is it? So here, Oil Zapper is actually... It's an eco-friendly technique that means it is a technology for the remediation of oil sludge and oil spills. So to clean the oil sludge and oil spills, this eco-friendly technique is used. Oil zapping technique. Zapping means to destroy. That means zapping, destroy the oil with the help of bacteria. It is actually a kind of bioremediation technique. So this is oil zapper technology to remove the oil sludge or oil spills. Coming to the 18 and 2 number question, 82nd assertion and reasoning kind of question. Assertion statement states temperature in the stratosphere increases with increase in altitude. So this is absolutely correct. Assertion is correct. So when we move up in the stratosphere region, the temperature increases as the altitude increase. Questions reason states that photo dissociation of oxygen in stratosphere makes the lapse rate positive. So photo dissociation means due to the 
effect of sunlight the oxygen are broken and the ozone is also formed from singlet oxygen so it is telling this makes the lapse rate positive but it is wrong because of the photo dissociation of oxygen stratosphere the lapse rate becomes negative yes when the lapse rate is negative it increases the temperature as a result when we move up in the stratosphere the temperature increases so your assertion is true but the reason is not true that is false so what will be the option assertion is true but reason is false so option c will be correct so i hope you are able to understand let's move to the next question question 83 chocolate question water contaminated with cadmium can cause which disease very very important and specific to the related disease from the contamination of water that is itai itai disease itai itai disease is also called as ouch ouch disease ouch means pain so when we are having a pain we will say that ouch it is paining so severe bone pain is seen in the case of cadmium poisoning in the water that's why it is called as also ouch ouch disease osteomalacia condition osteo from bone when the bones are giving severe pain this will cause as the ouch ouch or itai itai disease due to cadmium poisoning coming to question 84 the report the report that is limit to growth is the recommendation from which of the following sector or following condition or club so here it is from the what it is from the club of rome so the club of rome reported the limit to growth that means what to limit the growth of economic population resource supply we should study so that we can limit we can be in the sustainable development kind of thing so this was done by the club of rome for economic population growth and using the resources carefully coming to the question number 85 question 85 right hand side a species that has profound effect on the ecological process of an ecosystem and whose removal or loss would result in disturbing the whole community structure is known as what so think and read once again species which is having a profound effect important effect on the ecological process of ecosystem and if we remove that it will destroy the community structure so this is talking about the keystone species yes you are correct keystone species option b will be the correct option coming to the question number 86 question 86 from the remote sensing and gis technique this question is also very very useful the question is the name of the us global positioning system is called as what it is called as navstar so navstar is from the us global positioning system and you should also know that is glonass glonass is from where glonass is from russia gagan from name onwards you will know it is from india that is gagan m o m mom it is not mom it is actually mars orbiter mission which is from also india that is by isro so this four thing you should remember let's move to the question number 87 Question eighty seven. Two statements are given. We have to say whether statement one is correct or two or both. Let's read the statements. Statement one: Establishment of identities of different objects in image. So the question is with reference to manual image interpretation and remote sensing. There are two statements. So manual image interpretation through remote sensing. Statement one says establishment of identities of different objects in the image. We have to do in the manual image interpretation. Statement two states search for their meaning. so when we are doing interpreting any image through remote sensing manually interpreting these two statements will be correct yes both statement 1 and 2 are correct so option c will be the correct option let's move to the next set of questions question number 88 on the left hand side the question says the reflection of light by a surface is function of wavelength and particle size suppose if surface particle size is less than lambda by 8 that means less than the 1/8 of the wavelength then the reflection would be what kind of so here the correct option will be option number a the reflection would be of specular type specular means the regular reflection in the case of plane surface for example mirror when the reflection takes place it will be called as the reflection that is specular kind of reflection so it is telling if the surface particle size is less than lambda by 8 very small particle size on the surface that means it is equal to the plane surface so it will give the specular kind of reflection let's move to the next question no need to go deep in this question just you should know this 
if the particle size is very less it will be forming a plain kind of thing so it will cause specular kind of reflection question 89 the blue color of the sky is due to what this is also very very chocolate question the correct option will be what it is due to the Rayleigh scattering what is Rayleigh scattering dispersion of electromagnetic radiation by particles that have their radius lesser than the approximate one tenth of the wavelength of the radiation so one tenth of the lambda you can say so when this thing takes place the radius that means the particles that have radius less than the approximate one by tenth of the wavelength of the radiation that will cause Rayleigh scattering as a result our sky appears blue in color coming to next question question 90 lichens are highly susceptible to what lichens they are the organization that means the symbiotic relation between the fungi and algae so that is lichens and they are highly susceptible to what they are highly susceptible to sulfur dioxide yes they are a good indicator of the sulfur dioxide pollution also nitrogen oxides pollution so when these lichens are growing in the region where there is no sulfur dioxide they will grow very very well and if there is sulfur dioxide pollution they won't be able to survive so they will die so from that we will get the indication that yes there is sulfur dioxide pollution that's why lichens are not growing there so they are the indicator of air pollution specifically for sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen also coming to the next question question 91 Coriolis force is more prominent near what part of our planet and here Coriolis force is more prominent near the poles yes pole region Coriolis force zyada hota hai so what is that it is weaker near the equator it is also you should know that near the equator it is weaker but near poles it is the stronger or more prominent so here they are the apparent force caused by the earth rotation so when the earth rotation takes place it is a force generated by that responsible for the deflection of wind so wind movement throughout the planet is because of this Coriolis force more majorly participating in their movement because of the apparent force caused by the earth's rotation so they are handling the movement of wind in the majority of the condition coming to the next question question 92 this is a very simple thing statistical question they are asking we have to find the standard deviation of the following data so you have to find it and i will tell you the answer what will be the answer answer will be option number d 4.342 you should check whether it is correct or wrong and if you want to learn basics of statistics which will be coming in the examination very very simple thing i will provide the link of the playlist you can go through that in the i button so moving towards the next questions question 93 question 93 is from anova yes anova analysis of variance so you have to see anova is useful for what let us read the statements testing three or more variables yes it is correct can also be used as multiple two sample t-test it is also correct analysis of variance to test a particular hypothesis it is also correct testing only one or two unequal variables no not at all so testing three or more variables it is justifying the ANOVA not this is not justifying so four we will eliminate so here elimination here elimination here elimination option A will be the correct option so one two and three will be the correct statements for ANOVA question 94 is calorific values of food and fuel are determined by what so these are determined by bomb calorimeter you should note down bomb calorimeter is used to determine the calorific values of fuel as well as food coming to the question 95 question 95 is actually a bit confusing question was periphyton are the aquatic what so these options no at all justifies the definition of periphyton actually periphytons are the complex mixture of algae cyanobacteria heterotrophic microbes and detritus so both plants and small microbes organism animals that are attached to the submerged surface in most aquatic ecosystem they are periphyton very helpful for the ecosystem in the aquatic habitat so here they are not only plant not only plant not only animal so these all four options are confusing so nothing will be correct from here this is the complex mixture of all things algae cyanobacteria heterotrophic microbes detritus all these things are composing to this periphyton coming to the question 96 question 96 says consider the following statements so excessive growth of water weeds in a water body is attributed to the what so that means it is telling when the water body is full of water weeds excessive growth 
it is indicating what attributing means it is indicating what it is indicating that increase in the high influx of phosphates and nitrates in the ecosystem that means it is indicating the eutrophication excessive influx of nutrients so two and three are correct but here i would like to say that increase in the benthic organism including bacteria is not indicating this thing water body if it is having water weed it is not indicating that the benthic organisms are increased it is increasing indicating that the due to increase in nutrients and phosphates and nitrates these weeds are growing and after some time because the water weeds will grow there will be anoxic condition that means oxygen will be low and then anaerobic bacteria will grow in the benthic region so after that it will give so it is not indicating that because these two things are the reasons this is not the reason this will come after these things takes place so i hope you have understood टू और थ्री के वजह से ही यहाँ पे वीट का ग्रोथ हो रहा है क्योंकि उसमें ज़्यादा उसमें नाइट्रेट्स एंड फॉस्फेट्स हैं जो कि हाई न्यूट्रिएंट्स हैं आफ्टर देयर ग्रोथ दे विल गिव राइज टू द ऑर्गेनिज्म स्विच आर एनोरोबिक सो दैट विल कम आफ्टर दैट दिस ऑप्शन वन सो आई विल गो विथ ऑप्शन डी दैट इज टू एंड थ्री विल बी द करेक्ट ऑप्शन लेट्स गो टू क्वेश्चन नाइन्टी हु हैज़ गिवन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ नेचर अंडर द टाइटल द लैंड एथिक सो हियर दिस is given by aldo leopold option c will be the correct option so i hope you have written down these things some of you will be knowing these terms or these things for the first time you should note down aldo leopold the land ethic this concept was given by him question 99 is the following reaction takes place during anaerobic digestion of organics organics means specifically it is telling about the organic or anaerobic digestion so here anaerobic digestion that means you should know what are the steps from here the correct sequence so last you should always remember is the production of methane along with the carbon dioxide so methane will come at end so end means one will be at the end so a and b will be the option for the final round then we should know that first step will be what first step will be acid fermentation don't get confused with acid regression fermentation first step during the anaerobic digestion will be acid fermentation followed by acid regression then alkaline fermentation then methane production so it will be 3 4 2 1 that means option a will be the correct option coming to the next question The hundred questions. So we are now in the century. Coal-based thermal power stations pollute the atmosphere by adding what? This is a very frequent asked question. And the correct option will be what? It will be option number C. That is oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur dioxide, suspended particulate matter, and carbon monoxide. These four are released from the coal-based thermal power station that pollute our atmosphere. So I hope you have noted down and enjoyed the video. If you like, don't forget to like this, subscribe the channel to get all further updates related to environmental sciences. All the best for the examination. See you guys in our next video.